Utah. trees but so this would be one room let's go out <laughs> Alright, it's the wall up to the turret bit. So this would be the armor room. And there's tunnels. So this would have actually been led to the other one then. Okay. It's all wooden at the top as well. Don't jump on me taking photos. This is Omaha Beach. Ah, 
These must have been cells where they kept the prisoners who didn't want to fight. And then that's just out to the open, so they would have lobbed the grenades down here if they wanted to. would have sat in like that. And you'll demonstrate it. Yeah. I'm not going to this one's more. Yeah. Watch your head. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been a prison then. I'll lead to the outside again. Free remaining turrets, and and in the distance, there's a watchtower. Oh my. <laughs> the floor's collapsed on this one as well. Hey up. Massive hole there. But the back's intact. Except from the other ones. Exactly the same. As these. <coughs> A little storage place. A massive one. These would have been the stairs. That's their barracks? And oh my goodness. There. Oh my goodness. The event. And that would have been. That would have been a gate. Ammunition B 
big. And there's the collapse one. Well, a bit. There's the aircraft on the beach. And loads of them off the ports. These are in the sea. This one seen because so I'm on a big cliff like that. It reminds me of Dad's Army in the movie. They'll never get us, Pike. Spring, summer, autumn, or winter, over the sea or out of the sky, or up between our legs, or up wherever they come from, we'll be ready for them. And here is the bridges they would have used a monument that's what the bridges would have been to carry the troops and spikes 75th garden for D-Day Gold Beach. And on Gold Beach, there are loads and loads of this carrier. Some demolished, some not. Looks like it.
monument at Gold Beach. Sword Beach. Well, what's left of it? The tide. Hi guys, I am just finishing off the editing here. Uh, this is a short vlog as it would have been a long, long episode. So we're calling this one short. So come for part four, but I have added something in this video and it's going to be part of my end screen for this part as I felt it was needed so time to go and see it the gratitude of every home in our island in our empire and indeed throughout the world except in the abodes of the guilty goes out to the British airmen who undaunted by odds and wearied in their constant challenge and mortal danger are turning the tide of the world war by their prowess and by their devotion. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. All our hearts go out to the fighter pilots whose brilliant actions we see with our own eyes day after day. I hope, indeed I pray, that we shall not be found unworthy of our victory if after toil and tribulation it is granted to us. For the rest, we have to gain the victory. That is our task.